All right, we should be live. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to give us just a minute to make sure that everything is up and going uh, before we officially start. Um, I, I have done a few times where we've started and then there's nothing. And I feel like I'm silly <laughs> talking to myself. <laughs> so, so we're going to wait just a second. Um, those of you that are on and, and watching from the website, uh, and have that chat box right next to you. If you could say a little hello and we can hear you and then we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see, hopefully we can have you guys on. It looks like it's up and going. Although I am not seeing the chat box. What happened can I, there? Can I see the chat box or no? Um, you actually can't see it. Okay. I could I could actually send you the link to the page where it will be. Okay. And, uh, and then you can look at it. It does get a little bit overwhelming sometimes for people who've yeah. never done this before. So... Um, I could it, periscope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have it. Uh, okay. If you want that. Let me fix this for you guys. I know you're probably watching us already, but let me fix the chat for you so that you guys can get on and chat. Because uh, I would hate for you not to be able to do that. That would be a bummer because we're here to chat. We're here to talk. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. It may take me just a second to get there, but we will get there. I, I checked it yesterday and it was working just fine. Sometimes sometimes that link just changes itself. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Sorry about the, the slowness, but we have a fun training today, so <laughs> that'll be good. All right. And I have quite the lag in my internet speeds here. Hopefully I'm not cutting out. Um, it's probably because I'm on a Hangout. But, okay. okay. All right. So yeah, Barry, while we're waiting, how has your day been? How's your baby? Oh my gosh. He's adorable. I'm still <laughs> one week mom, so I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I don't. I don't, uh, but I get a lot of amazing people and cake friends who do know and Periscope. <laughs> it's a <awesome>. saver. <laughs> so we're fine. My mother-in-law is helping me with the baby right now. But yeah. If not yeah, I would have had Max here with me. But you never know what kind of child you're gonna get. So I don't know if we're gonna have screaming Max. We don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not especially. <laughs> but you know what? We're most of us are moms uh -huh. or dads and we get it. I know, I know. But it, I'm still in between from from mother to thinking like I used to, you know? So I'm, I'm yeah. still not quite a mom yet. You can't be a mom for seven days. I don't think <laughs> you can. No, exactly. <laughs> well, in fact, I honestly, with my, my first baby, I didn't, I just didn't get it as much. When I had my second baby, I mean, the yeah. minute I gave birth to him, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so, I, I yeah. know this, I know what this is yeah. gonna be. And it was so much, it just amplified everything. So, yeah, but it, it's definitely fun to have baby number one. Oh, there we go. Yay. Okay. So, yeah, if you guys can hear me now that the chat is up, <laughs> if you can uh, just go ahead and say, hey, we're, we're here. We can see you. Um, well, we'll go ahead and get started. How fun. Some of you even have pictures up there on the chat. I know oh, some seriously? of you can't get logged in all the time, but okay. Okay. 
Oh. Ooh. What? Someone just informed me that the link that I sent out for the training in my email is wrong. My gosh, I'm making mistakes all over the place today. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Remember, Amelia. I don't know what, but remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm prepared for that one. <laughs> I think, if I can remember. Okay, so you know what? Let's go ahead, and we will get started and talk to you just a little bit, very well. Um, while we get, uh, while I get another broadcast sent out to everybody saying oops that was lame <laughs> uh, um, but yeah if you guys yeah. uh, will we'll hang on just a second I'll do an official start and then we'll we'll go ahead and, and start the broadcast so can you send me the link so I could post it in Facebook yes absolutely yeah let's have this link on yep Okay, so um, yeah. okay, right. okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Cake Foo Masters series. I'm Amelia Carbine, your host, and um, I'm glad that you guys are here. I know we're starting just a couple of minutes behind, but uh, hopefully, we have all of the kinks worked out and we're ready to go. So uh, today, we have a really great guest, uh, somebody who has just been. Uh, a really, you know, fun fun personality in the the cake decorating community, <laughs> and has and has actually done quite a bit as far as you know getting not really uh, getting some movement going in the community. I honestly, you you just kind of are a mover. <laughs> oh seriously? <laughs> yeah, which is great. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. I nobody, um, nobody sent me the memo. <laughs> 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 it's true though it's very true uh, so yeah this is we're really really happy to have Barry here oh, with I'm us. so happy so I'm yeah really invited <laughs> <laughs> so Barry let's talk a little bit about you and uh, okay. um, how you got started into cake decorating and you know uh, how you got involved I, I know everyone says with my kid I didn't <laughs> I got started with my boyfriend um, I'm a chef, and uh -huh. then um, I decided to have a pastry chef school here in Mexico. And then um, they didn't teach us a lot of cake decorating. It was pretty much recipes for a year. And then I had to leave it because of family affairs and everything. And three years ago, it was my boyfriend's birthday. And I had no idea what to give him. So I made a Beatles cake out of fondant. And I had to make my own fondant. And, you know, started the whole thing. Had no idea how to stack. I knew the baking. I knew the baking fine. But the stacking, the molding, the nothing at all. And <laughs> I loved it. And it got a huge viral sign in Mexico. So much that I made a cake for, I was lucky that I made a cake for a restaurant here. And my cake started in Vogue. So I have been lucky since the start. Um, I give classes, personal private classes, and I make cakes pretty much for industries. But I don't post them. So I'm still learning. And um, I have only had three years, almost three years, but now with the baby, so I don't count these nine months. Because <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was lucky because that's when I started Sugar Skull Bakers. And I had months, months of practice, not decades and years. But seeing so many collaborations, I seriously wanted one, one that meant something for me. So that, that I know we're going to be talking about. And I got lucky that I asked people, and they wanted to be involved. And it became a huge thing. I had no idea. I thought maybe 10 people would see it. Seriously, but I absolutely adore skulls. I love the idea of them. It's not just a little skull. It's more profound. So um, seeing 2,500 people on the first day was just amazing, amazing. And seeing so many cakers, and now cakers want to be involved. It's just 
freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, you know me? Like, I talked to Marina Sousa, and uh -huh. she knows who I am. So I'm still, <laughs> I'm still starstruck. Like, but what I do is pretty much I contact them. Like, I'm hip, and I, I don't care. I, I think they're amazing all, like Paulette Peters and everything, but I just contact them, and that's... That's it. I don't. I don't get like freaked out who they are. I know who they are, but them mm -hmm. at least. But I don't know a lot of cakers. I seriously, and I'm lucky to have met a lot of them with Sugar School Bakers. Mm -hmm. It has opened completely cake world to me. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Well, you know the the thing about the well known cake decorators in the in the industry is. I, I think most of us have pretty, you know, level heads and we're just people just like everybody else. Right. You know, exactly. So. One of my best friends is Edna de la Cruz. So she's, <laughs> so oh, she's such a sweetheart. Amazing. Amazing. And um, I always tell her you're my godmother of cakers. And uh, she, when I know, I remember Maya told me once, when you don't talk about cake, that's when a real friendship becomes. Mm -hmm. And I don't only talk about cake. <laughs> I pretty <laughs> talk about everything. <laughs> so I'm lucky. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Well, let's um, let's talk about this Sugar School Bakers and, yes. and about cake collaborations in general. I know that yes. there are so many people out there that you know are, are new oh. to the collaboration thing. They want to know, you know, things like you know how how to get started into a collaboration why should you get started into a collaboration um you know how do you find a good one how do you you know and how do you use that to to build yourself and your business you know right. so i think these are all things that i would like to cover today and, right. and kind of you know talk through these things so that so that people that are watching can really get some good information and and use these collaborations that are so popular right now to really help themselves, um, you know, I I think it's I think it's definitely something worth talking about. Yes. Um, so all of you guys that are listening, uh, before we move forward, I want you guys to um, in the chat box uh, go ahead and you know if you have a question about collaborations, anything at all, um, go ahead and ask it there. I will uh, filter through the questions and make sure that Barry gets all of the answers or the questions that. Um, are being asked uh, and I will also try and, and uh, keep up on the comments down below because I know some people have a hard time accessing the um, the chat for some for some reason some people have a hard time with that so um, but yeah if, if you guys want to ask questions let's and or or have a comment uh, that would be that would be really great right um, Anyway, so yeah, uh, I guess How Bonnie nice Adams bread. says. Sorry, Bonnie Adams says she can see but not hear. I guess I can't give you any <laughs> information. It'll have to be in the chat. <laughs> I'll I'll try and help you, Bonnie. <laughs> anyway, okay, so uh, let's start out with the you know the first topic of your specific collaboration. Right. Um, let's let's talk about you know, how you got your collaboration started and why and, you know, what okay. really pushed it forward for you? Well, um, I wanted to be in a collaboration. <laughs> That's it. Seriously, I really wanted one, but I wanted one to be something that meant something to me, not just like anything at all. And here in Mexico, it's very traditional to celebrate Day of the Dead which is the 1st of November and the 2nd of November. So I do know how I started this. I talked to Alison Henry from Let's Eat Cake. She's from England and one of my best friends. And, um, and I said, should I? And I told her the whole thing about it and she said, yes. And I was so scared because I contact each and every baker. And very disappointing. I contacted contacted Mexican bakers, um, from band bakers here in Mexico, and artists, and they thought it was very small piece. 
they thought it was beneath them. And to have people from my, from Mexican, Mexican people not wanting to do it, just really saddened me. But the, seeing people from England wanted to be part of it made it so much better. But it was, I actually had to contact people from Facebook and not knowing them, hey, and they don't know me, would you like to do a collaboration? And explaining, that's that's a huge difference. Like, Skulls is not, here in Mexico, it's calaveritas, um, all of that. It's not very horrible or horrid or bloody. So I had to explain a whole tradition to somebody else from England and um, Spain. It was just amazing. But they got it. They did. And it was a smash hit, a smash hit. We had, we actually did think we were going to be seen by 10 people. Seriously. So, oh, wow. <laughs> we so I, contact, I contact one of my um, friends from high school that we hadn't seen each other for years, which is, her name is Juki, and she made the design because I told, told her, I don't have any money, and this is a passion, and this is for, for this and that. She made the logo, she did the patterns, we did the video, and it was a hit. That was 2013. I had months making gigs. I had no idea what I was doing. You can see it on the video. I had no idea. <laughs> that is wonderful. You know, I think that's a really good point to make, that if you're in the industry and you want to get your name out there, do something. You do know? something. Don't Completely. Just, yeah, exactly. Don't, don't dance. You don't sit don't, and wait. Don't, exactly. <laughs> and don't just post your page. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Do something completely and ask people. If you want to be involved in the collaboration, there are tons of groups. There are amazing groups. Um, Ruly Bakers. Um, oh, gosh. There are so many. I have no idea how many to say. But you can actually ask. I, I even have a group. It's called Cake Bake. And it's just pretty much about recipes because I've I do more recipes. So even that, you can ask, guys, who has a collaboration? And actually, right now, who doesn't have a collaboration? <laughs> like, That's let's true. do a collaboration about grass. Who knows <laughs> people want to do a collaboration about grass? You never know. <laughs> you never know. There are a lot of grasses. <laughs> this is so, true. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is too funny. Yeah. So um, another, um, someone had a question for you. Um, okay. This is probably somebody who's looking to form a collaboration. Uh, said, what do you look for when selecting bakers for a collaboration? I don't. I don't. I accept everyone. So, and I tell them to just push themselves to what they want and just give them the the idea of what it is because we did get like gore and bloody things and okay hold on we we don't do blood because it's a different kind of message we're not we're not halloween mm -hmm. so we are celebrating death and life and i i don't choose bakers because i think that would be kind of snobby of me i'm not that kind of person and I'm not going to say your work is beneath my collaboration. And I, I actually, you know what I do a lot? I go to Instagram, to Facebook pages. Um, my dear friend, the gelatin boss, Vincent, has always been telling me, oh, have you seen her work? And I have gotten to know so amazing people. Like, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, and I'm so sorry. But <laughs> my Maiton Winton, something like that, I met him like one week before sugar skulls and i said please can we have your cake so i told him everything and he said of course i want to be part of it and we became friends again i became friends with everyone <laughs> I have issues. That's, that's one no but, that's not issues that's great <laughs> that but is i wonderful. think that i think that's amazing um i think that's really cool yeah i, I don't look at, at people's work i just accept them and they can do something. And it's it's their creativity creativity. I mean, they can do absolutely anything. I do know some some cakes surpass completely. Some are art pieces. Karen Marie Portaleo, which is 
one of my amazing cake crushes. Mm -hmm. And I got to meet her last year. I adore the woman. She is even more better, more perfect than I ever thought. How she talks, how she is, I just adore her. And she did an amazing piece, just mm -hmm. truly amazing. So again, um, and then other people who, who are not well known, also did amazing cookies, amazing cake pops. So really, I think um, it's good to have everyone because you can find new artists like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I yeah, that's it's it's all true. <laughs> it's just my point of view because I don't I don't want like cookie cutter artists. I know there's so many talented, but also there are also some that. Um, really want to do this something inspirational and they do it and mm -hmm. this is so great yeah yeah well you know yeah. I, as as for that question of you know who do you look for for a collaboration um you know a lot of people uh do go for the the big names right uh, and and that's wonderful we love to get invited to collaboration of course um i i get invited to quite a few Although I don't think I've ever been invited to Sugar Skulls. Oh well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I can I can hook you up. Can you? I know someone. <laughs> anyway, so the the sad thing is, is that I have to turn down a lot of them. As much as I think they're wonderful and I love I know. them, you know, time does not allow me all the time. I but know. I love to be asked. It never hurts to ask. Well, and if you so, want to, I'm going to ask you right now, <laughs> would you like to be part of it? I think that would be so much fun. <laughs> it is so much fun because I don't think a lot of people could do something different from their traditions. I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking about celebrating death. It's seeing mm -hmm. it in another point of view. It's not just, it's just weird also for other people. It is, it is a cultural bash. I mean... To think about it in different cultures, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but it's it's actually beautiful, you know, in, in a sense of way, because you're honoring the people who have died. So I think I think I think there's so many meanings to it. That's why I love about it, and you can make it your own, which I love about it too. Because mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you, Amelia, you have to do this. No. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. I don't. Yeah, well, and one thing that you pointed out yesterday when we were talking, getting ready for this, was you have a lot of people in your collaboration, but a not lot. everybody, not nope. everybody contributes. Because right now we're you know, 250 people. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. They are not gonna finish. And <laughs> not all of them are. And I think it's I good love you to overestimate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good to overestimate because you are going yeah. to get people that are going to need to back yeah. out at the last minute because of and, some reason or another. And like, for instance, um, Maggie Carter, I love you, Maggie, but I will, I'm going to vent. <laughs> uh, I absolutely adore Maggie. I have no idea because I live in Mexico, guys. I don't have a lot of television from the States or a lot of channels or like, I had no idea about Maggie being planet planet cake right mm. or planet, world planet something like that the day I was seeing the BBC that's where Maggie I saw Maggie and I freaked out because after five minutes she contacted me on Facebook Facebook and said yes I will do it I you can see my character I started jumping up and down like a little girl that's Maggie, that's Maggie, that's Maggie. <laughs> I had no idea who was Maggie. And um, like, for instance, Maggie, with her timing and her so many classes, she actually delivered that day, like 31st. And oh, wow. there's no way I'm not going to say no to Maggie. But also, I, I don't want to have 250 people giving me that on the first. So we have to have a deadline. Mm hmm where I'm not gonna finish, and I'm just me, guys. <laughs> I'm me editing. I'm the only. I'm, there's two administrators, but I'm pretty much it. So it gets overwhelming to answer the same question over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And I get it. We don't read, so I did videos this year. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have done multiple of these collaborations. Mm -hmm. Two, is that what you've done? Or is this on I have done, three? yeah, this this year we are gonna be on number three. Okay. So, yeah, not, not, I, the other collaborations for this year that I was invited to so many, um, I, I seriously, there was a little thing happening with my, the moving and some of them got broken and everything and the baby and just, it was just too overwhelming. I, I, I really had to say, guys, I'm so sorry. I can't do any, so I didn't do any of them. So, and I missed on so many collabs. But seriously, if you do one, you will get asked. It's kind of like mm -hmm. the movie Field of Dreams. <laughs> if you feel that they will come. <laughs> it's true. This is very, very true. <laughs> it is really true. Because I'm not an amazing cake artist. I know I'm not, but I'm still learning. So I don't care if if I do a face that's going to be really bad, but I'm still learning, and I would be proud of that face. And mm -hmm. I will keep on working on it because I think that's what collaborations are for, that's to awesome. get outside of your box. Yeah, very true. Okay, so going from the first collaboration to the second and now on to the third, how have things changed for you as a collaborating? Yeah, how what do you call it? Evolved? The collaborator? Yeah. <laughs> the mama's call. Yeah, that's what they the call mama's me. Call. The there you call. go. How how there have things changed for you? And have have um, you have you noticed any real you know, something that you would have done different the first time around. Yeah. That... Yeah. The first time, no, I was in diapers. <laughs> there had, I had no idea what was I doing. The second time, um, well, yeah, I would have had somebody to do the video. It took me two days hmm. and I cried making the video. Seriously, it took me so much to do it because I'm not used to editing. And seriously, a hundred and See it in my point of view, 125 cakes for everyone to be seen and it had to be fast because you're making a video that you want people to be involved. You don't want a 30 minute video. So you, yeah. you need speed, you need music, you need copyrights, you need letters, you need, oh my gosh. And I had no idea how many bakers are gonna be and it was 125. What I did different this year a lot of amazing artists left last year because they had seen a flower that they wanted to make and somebody else made it. Hmm. So this year I said, no sharing, don't share. So I have no idea who's gonna make anything and what they're gonna make. I don't want people to get restrained. I don't want people to say, oh, she did it better than me. Of course, a lot of people are going to do it better than you. Don't compare. <laughs> do your thing, you know? So it has been so hard because a lot of people want the interaction. But um, I think it's a good, a good decision that mm -hmm. I took this year. I think that's and a really good idea. Really good idea. I think so. I think so. Because I didn't want people to be, like, scared. Mm -hmm. I cannot compare myself with Karen Portillo. She's a queen. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if anyone can. Her. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, so I know I'm not going to make something like her. But again, I don't think like that. I want to make something like me. So I'm okay with my level of skills. I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. And I don't see it as a competition. But that's just me. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I think that's yeah. a good tip for anybody doing collaborations, you know, to just gather everything in private. And then, you know, we can share and have fun and, you know, explore. I also did it because it would be an <laughs> amazing surprise, even for the skulls. Like, for everyone that is involved, they're going to be surprised. Oh, my gosh, you did this? And they're going to be even more involved. Um, I think that's the little twist. Um, right now, there might be another twist in Sugar Skull Bakers that we didn't have last year. A mini collaboration inside the collaboration. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So I hope, I hope we can do it. I hope, because me being pregnant and labor and now 40 days resting, whew, it's overwhelming. And again, it's just me. 
So what I also don't do as an administrator, I don't answer what is on the top. If you read it, you will get it. Mm -hmm. I, it, it has become a, an executive decision that Yuki told me. She said, don't answer. Because it's already there. <laughs> So please read. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is. And it, it has happened to me completely. Mm -hmm. I have been in collaborations, and I go, "When is the due date? It's right there." And I have done it, and I feel terrible with the administrators. I said, <laughs> <laughs> "Well, you know, I think that's. It's not just in collaborations either. I mean, I, I run a, a digital cake sketching group with Liz Merrick, and every time, oh, amazing. Yeah, every every couple of days." I get somebody that says, how do you do this? And I just, there's a pinned post at the top, go read it and then you can ask questions, <laughs> you know, so. But somehow they get offended and no, don't get offended. Everybody, we're doing so many things in social media. You don't have time to read. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, we okay, got so it. Somebody just had a question and I, I had no idea that this would even be a question. I. I guess you know when I when I teach stuff with cake decorating, sometimes yeah. I feel like somebody should be more on the level that you know. I and I'm not thinking the way they're thinking. So here's a good okay. question: okay. What is a collaboration? And I honestly hadn't even crossed my mind as a question. But Neither did I. We need to Neither we need to address that question. Um, but you know what? As we're gonna, as we do that, I want to play uh, the video yes. of your latest collaboration, so yes. that um, everyone can see at what what your collaboration is all about. There are yes. so many out there, and there's so much variety in collaborations. Um, but I just want to show what yours is all about, and and we can talk through this. It will be muted. You guys will just see pictures, and we'll just keep going through it. Okay. Um, so here we go. Let me pull this up for you and we'll get it started. Okay. So this is your Sugar Skull Bakers collaboration. Mm -hmm. And so what we're seeing here are pictures of other people's oh, work, other people's multiple work. Yeah. hundreds of people that have come together. Yeah, and completely. And, and created so, something, you know, together. Oh, hang on, right. I need to turn that off for a minute. Let me pause this for a second. Anytime someone comments, it closes everything again. Everything. So I'm closing this window for a minute, guys. <laughs> and I'll, I'll get to your questions in a minute. Okay, so we should be clear with that. Okay. All right. So you're sharing their cakes and their businesses also throughout this? Completely, yeah. And what they did last year, this is like a little tidbit. Everybody got their faces done for Sugar Skulls using um, Big Monkey and even their logos. They were so excited they changed their logos to Sugar Skulls. So it's a really involvement completely. I mean, change it. Oh, that cake right there, the last one, I saw that cake from a cake artist in San Antonio, Texas, and she did it. Look at Callie. Callie's cake is amazing. But the cake <laughs> artist, I, I called her up, like saying, please, please, would you want to be in it? And she said, of, of course. I love the idea that is the interpretation of each artist of what they want it to be. Mm -hmm. I, I completely agree. I, I love collaborations in the fact that you get to do what you want to do Whatever you want you know when you have a client you have to do what they want to do unless they're going to give you free reign um, I know it's so fun to watch these <laughs> but unless they're like, going to give you free reign you have to do what they want you to do and so doing a collaboration is the time that what you, really you want to do to shine exactly yeah. it's what you want to do and whatever you can design I think that's it's the more freely like the bunny rabbit that represents completely that mm -hmm. um, day of the dead. So everybody has an interpretation for it, which um, I completely adore. I, I completely love. And so many pieces, what a lot of people don't know, a lot of pieces are memorable for other people. 
That's the only one I accepted that had blood. <laughs> but I took it as a representative. Yeah, so, I I think that that had a, a good meaning to it. I like yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh, I oh, love that fun. one. <laughs> I should really say that the next thing is people should send me their pieces because I want them. <laughs> some, some of them, one of them I was hooked. It was the dancing gatos or the singing cats. I seriously stocked <laughs> completely the paper. Like, I want it. I want it. Send it. Ship it. I want it. I don't care. She never did. <laughs> but I loved it. Like, like the big... Um, remember, the video had to go fast and it had to be cut it because it was 125 bakers. Mm -hmm. There is no way you can... This is Carabustus. Oh, cool. And she made that one. And look, um, Cara's, Andretta, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Yeah, just some so amazing. So everybody work has so many details. Oh, I love this one, too. And I don't have a favorite. I can't have a favorite. They're also so amazing, and they have so many meanings to everyone. Like, for instance, Gil LeBlanc, which is one of my best friends. Look at that one. That's Kate. That's awesome. I love, love it. Um, he became one of my best friends in Cake World. Oh, look at that. And she made a mermaid. A mermaid. Amazing. How clever is that? Amazing. And um, Gil made it for his mom. That her, His mom died about four years ago. So it does have a meaning. It's not just cake. Yeah, it does. It really does. And, you know, again, uh, you were, this is something we talked about yesterday, um, but you had mentioned that these kind of collaborations are not only where you That's get Lauren to be yourself, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's also where you get to try something that pushes you. you yes, know, something that, that is something that you have never done before, something that you really have always wanted to try, but you're too afraid to try it on a client. This is exactly. the place to do that. <laughs> exactly. Like uh, right now, there's a huge boom with skulls. I think um, the Book of Life, is it the Book of Life, the movie? Or I, I don't sugar. remember. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, and I'm the sugar mama, the skull mama, and I haven't seen it. But <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible at keeping up to date on movies. Yeah, me too right now. Uh, but um, it, it, it gave Gorgeous. the meaning. Yeah, that's amazing. And it escaped. Look, that's Nadia. Nadia and I have become really great friends. From a chocolate. Uh -huh. She's so, so amazing. And look at that one. The cake was uh, even outside. How so cool there's that. so many meanings with all of these cakes. I'm just mm -hmm. completely amazed of them. And seriously, getting to know so many people, cake artists, and seeing their point of view of what they, that's a Chico. Oh, uh -huh. It's amazing how she does little tiny things. And that one, there's a skull representing there, and it's two people separated. So I absolutely adore the, that one. I oh. want that cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want those cakes. <laughs> Please send them. <laughs> so, yeah, she's not going to send them. <laughs> so there was another question about what is the meaning of a collaboration? Mm -hmm. It's actually being together with your cake artists, with your cake friends, with the cake community and doing something. That I think as in a group, I think that would be, oh, that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. She is completely gorgeous. Um, I think that would be what it represents to me, being in a collaboration. And also, come on, if you are in a collaboration, it's because you want your Facebook page, you want your name known. So mm -hmm. that's if you want those things, well, you have to get outside of your box and do something. That's Valentina's, if I'm not mistaken. And she's from Germany. And she's so nice. She, we have gotten to, uh, that's Vincent's. So I'm, I'm happy because a lot of them have, a lot of the skulls have become, that's Violet. That's so fun. <laughs> and, and, and that's William Tan. A lot of them have become my friends, my, like seriously good friends that I, I would have never been friends with. This is what I mean. This is another piece, kind of like the other one. Uh -huh. It's the same thing, but different artist point of view. And look at that one. Um, that's amazing. That's Jay Rolf. She did gorgeous. 
-hmm. And that's my amazing friend, um, Mark Lee. Uh, see, that's Quinton. Am I, <laughs> is it my, my turn? I can't pronounce all of them. Another mm -hmm. cake artist that started out, and she did that one. And wow. this is the lovely Claire from England. And Doriska Walker, who I said, please, we have to add you this year. And that's one of my, I adore Sarah Anna. Sarah mm -hmm. Jones, look at that yeah. one. Uh -huh. Karen. And see, we have a lot of cake artists with different, um, and that's Timbo, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah, wow. That's so okay so that, here's another question how yeah how do you take a collaboration and make it benefit you um would would you say it would benefit you more in the aspect of the cake community or more in the aspect of your business community and and how would you make it benefit in those different areas okay in business wise to me it's how it opened with sponsors. I have sponsors here in Mexico. But again, I'm in Mexico City, so I do my own thing here. <laughs> There's no problem. <laughs> and nobody knows because I'm from Mexico. So I got, I'm being, I have sponsors now because of this. Because they're seeing like the boom and they're seeing like people are looking at my things and seeing this collaboration and everything. So business wise, um, not really, <laughs> not really at all, but Cake World, now I know pretty much about a lot of people, <laughs> I know a lot of people, and a lot of them have become my friends, that's my piece, and the other one is my boyfriend, who is a chef, okay. so, and that's Juki, so that's, that just happened with me, and that's me with my Katrina makeup, uh. so you can imagine, <laughs> 125 bakers in 10 minutes is just crazy video completely crazy video i think you did a great job I, <laughs> and i think all the artists did a wonderful job it is they did so they did they did they did completely so yeah so i don't know what other questions were there well let's go ahead and look at all the other questions that we have we'll stop sharing so that we can get back Yay. to us <laughs> How fun. All right, I have to pull it back up again because I, I had to close it down to get, um, <laughs> to make the video play without closing down here. So we'll pull okay. up the questions and see what everybody has to ask because I'm sure that there will be tons of questions at this. Oh, someone is asking, do you teach classes? I actually do. I teach private classes here in Mexico City. In Mexico City? City? I do. But mm -hmm. um, right now with the baby, <laughs> it has to be Max, Max's year. So I'm going to do tutorials, actually. And um, I'm going to be showing some of the items that Katrina how to be making, like this, these feathers. Um, they're not with airbrush, and they're not with um a printer so i'm going to be showing that one how to do how to paint your paper in a different way sorry i had to go grab my uh <laughs> my charger for my laptop <laughs> it was about to die i'm like oh that would be terrible <laughs> no i have mine <laughs> i know <laughs> so i am going to be doing paid tutorials for, oh, be for at least this year Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing right now. Awesome. Okay, and here's I, a yeah. here's a really good question, and I think that a lot of collaborations do this. Someone mm -hmm. said, "Can a collaboration work for a charity auction if it's kept local? Uh, should non-cake artists be included? How should I put out the word on this? Any thoughts?" Wow, that's really amazing. I think that's right now, question. right now with Periscope. Seriously, I do think Periscope is going to change so many ways because all the collaborations were pretty much seen a lot from the cake community. Now a lot of collaborations are going to be seen through Periscope size, which is not a lot of cake world, not a lot of Facebook. 
So now actually people are gonna see more the collaborations. Um, yeah, Frost, Frosting Town last year, which mm -hmm. I, I was thank, thankfully be a part of it, was for, I think, I seen images, I seen smiles. I think all the benefits they did. I can't remember who it was. I can't, yeah. For. I but think there was a local thing that they, whoever yeah. was in charge of the collaboration. Exactly. Um, did a local so thing also. They asked mm -hmm. every, every one of the bakers was, and there were a lot of them too. There were a lot mm -hmm. of them. And yeah. um, I think Samantha did amazing being an she did. She really did. I was, <laughs> I was actually a part of that one. <laughs> oh, you were? <laughs> I was. Oh, it was a tiny little, I last minute I threw together a little flat, little train that was about my my contribution it was it was really not the best uh contribution but it was a contribution exactly <laughs> and that's what it matters but i remember she asked for recipes so i i, I gave her my fruitcake cookie <laughs> which i invented that month <laughs> and i said yeah of course you can have it awesome and um, and, um all the recipes were sold and all of that went to benefits. So it depends pretty much on the administrator who does it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But if yeah. you want, you can donate to me. <laughs> Any money. <laughs> so, <There> you <laughs> if you yeah. want to. Yeah, if you're if you're interested in putting together a collaboration and wanting it to benefit something, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a I, I think that was the biggest reason why I accepted the, the right. Frosting Town one. Because Me too. I knew that yeah. it was going to be doing some good. And I really, exactly. really appreciated that. And so, also Samantha, yeah. she's so nice. I said, I'm so doing it. Because she, she did an amazing work. Yeah. I mean, so many, so many people. And doing all of that, the whole scene, amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Someone says I want to do one as well, but I never get asked. So, what would your you answer ask. To that be? You ask. You say I want to be in one. Ask. If you don't ask, nobody will know. Where Where do they ask? Groups. Go into your cake groups and ask. Please, mm -hmm. I would I would like to be involved in the collaboration. Who wants me? Yeah. Ask. Seriously. Okay. It's true. If you ask around, people will know of collaborations that are going on and can get you into contact with the person in charge that can invite you. So, Actually, I asked you <laughs> if we could do this. Right? You did. You did. Yeah. And I thought it was a great idea. You know, so I, it so never ask. hurts to ask, right? <laughs> right. Completely. That's, it's that simple, guys. Life is not complicated. You make it complicated. Ask. <laughs> Seriously. It's very, very, very true. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, oh, a lot of people saying they want to be a part of your group. Can you tell them the name of your group again that you? Um, Cake Bake. Cake Bake. And I hope people will start asking questions in Cake Bake. <laughs> <laughs> My group has become like 2,500 people and they're all mute. Oh, <laughs> oh, darn it. I go, come on guys, <laughs> let's do something. They don't. Oh, like, I'll, I'll start commenting in your group. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! It will be you and me. It will be a group of two. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yay! Oh, fun. Okay, so cake bake. Go find her group and join it and yeah. contribute. It's always good to get people. And if you want to find me, you can be in YouTube and be my subscriber. Hint. <laughs> so that's where I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials. Also, and those are free. Come on, guys, support the pregnant woman who already had her kid. <laughs> Become a subscriber. Uh, someone says, I love the collaboration for charity idea. Um, any suggestions, definite do's and don'ts? Um, I'm not sure if that's talking about the charity idea or just in general. Um, the but do's and don'ts? Um, well, you have to have people to agree what charity and that would be kind of hard because a lot of people would want to do different kind of charities but if you have one set then just seriously 
the do's and don'ts is just pretty much more do, just do it. Like seriously. I love that. <laughs> I love just that. Do it. <laughs> If That's you want it. on my wall. <laughs> it has been the Nike logo for years. Yeah, so yeah, just do it, it. I just keep saying life is really simple and it's not that complicated. And I think maybe your fears or everybody's fears. I'm completely scared. I am not that amazing cake artist. But I again, I don't care. I just do it and I'm happy doing it. So I know a lot of people saying Again, I was asked, why are you doing <laughs> cake food? And I said, because I'm fun. <laughs> That's, <it. laughs> That's right. Everybody will watch you for an hour and, and enjoy themselves and get some information exactly. at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and they would want more. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But no, seriously, it's just really just doing things without being scared. I know everybody gets scared, but seriously, that's how you learn. Mm -hmm. But again, that's my point of view. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Going back to this question of how can this, uh, how can a collaboration benefit you, your business, uh, that kind of a thing? Someone said something, I believe it was Reva. So thank you for contributing, Reva. Reva? Uh, she says, you may not achieve fame with your piece, but you will gain knowledge and new yes. friends. And those yes. things are super, super important in the cake decorating community. Amazing. Uh, and it will help you business-wise because the yeah. more friends that you make, the more information they are willing to share with you, the more open and and helpful they can be right and it's just it's just a wonderful wonderful thing so definitely i i i know that i i know that i've heard some people point out that you know it's a collaboration there's so many people who's going to really be noticing just your piece but it's that's not true no if it's you not. if you join a collaboration number one like we were saying before, you get to do something you want to do. Number two, you get to stretch yourself beyond what you are right. um, normally comfortable with. And number three, you get to meet all of the people in that collaboration and get to know them. And, exactly. you know, and, and number four, you can share that um, on your on your business page and say, look, I was part of this. And, right. I, you know, that. It, it may not get you tons of fame and fortune or whatever, but it will build your, um, I guess your. It's why I'm known standing. in the cake community. Yeah. It's actually, that's it. Because a lot of my cakes are not known. A lot of are for, um, for companies that I just don't post because they're they're huge and everything it's just different but seriously it's how i'm known like the sugar skulls and asking people and just being out there and hey guys all the time i'm pretty much i'm i'm just how i am and i always try to support people how they they do stuff and everything and i agree completely with reba for me it has opened completely cake world completely mm -hmm. And that's how I have known a lot of my best friends from Cake World, from yep. Sugar Skulls, completely. <laughs> um, I'm laughing at one of the comments here. Ooh, um, do tell. <laughs> it was by Reva. <laughs> um, oh, I Dang lost it. it. Dang it. Um, oh, no. Oh, yeah, right here. She says, PM me if you want to be in the Reva Needs Money More Than Berry collaboration. <laughs> oh, no, Reva. Berry needs more money because she has <laughs> And they love the kid. And I love the kid. So, right. No, they're diapers. Stop it. <laughs> She's going to do a collaboration with Reva. <laughs> That's how Reva is. She's amazing. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, someone um, actually did point out, um, Mitch says, uh, Depressed Mitchie. Cake Shop. Yeah, hi, Mitch. Uh, says, Depressed Cake Shop is a great example of a collab for charity as well yeah. as icing smiles. So, yes. yeah, definitely. And did an amazing job with, she has put up high collaborations now. Because when she did the Harry Potter, ber Birthdays of Mischief, remember, I'm Mexican. I'm not saying it right. <laughs> <laughs> um, birthday mischief, mischief. I can't say it. Um, she did an amazing job as an administrator, 
And sadly, I was in that collaboration, and sadly, I couldn't do it. I had to drop out. But I helped so much doing periscopes and everything. And she she went global. She went viral. She made the collaboration what they used to be. She is totally amazing. Amazing. So a lot of people don't know how much work she did. And I, and she has telling me. And it is a lot of work. See, it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here's a good question. We, we've only got a few more minutes, but we'll try to fit in as many as we can. Okay. Uh, someone says, have the number of collabs that have popped up in the past couple of years diluted their uniqueness or impact on the public um, cake and non-cake? Nope. <laughs> Everyone has a new one. Like, for instance, come on, game, game On was really good. Why not see it? Like, Game On, it was all about the guys. And... Another one they did um, about cars. Oh gosh, I forgot. I forgot the names. Um, Mitchie's Harry Potter one. Seriously, that one was completely out of the box. Everybody was getting their costumes. I don't think so. I think now with having so many collaborations, now you have to do something with a band. Now you have to do a real collaboration. So it's depending the point of view again. Are you gonna push your collaboration more or are you gonna have like a weak collaboration? So it depends pretty much on the administrator and on the group. Mm -hmm. And on the group. Don't leave everything to the administrator, guys. If yeah. you have an amazing group, it's why it's called collaboration. It's yeah. a union. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess um, Riva said something. She says, I think the flood has diluted a bit, but there have been some of the most amazing releases this year. So, yeah. you know, there, there might be some that get lost in the mix of things, but if you make your collaboration really awesome, it's going to be noticed. It, but it let's get real. Why do they get lost? Because they only left the things to do for the administrator. A lot of people don't don't share, don't go psycho on the internet, on Facebook. You do have to go, you have, you have to do things with passion, seriously. Mm -hmm. If not, don't do them. Please don't. <laughs> don't waste people's time. If you, if you don't, if you're not happy because you're getting a cake, <laughs> don't get the cake, you know? Seriously, yeah. I think that Michi being so happy because she's obsessed with Harry Potter, she knows a lot more stuff than I do. Like seriously, a lot more stuff. I don't know that much stuff. And um, she's completely passionate about the whole movie and everything and the details. You can see the passion. And that's why it did so amazing. But everybody helped. Everyone in that group, you could see the love of everyone actually helping. What do you need? And it's the same thing that happened with me last year with Sugar Skulls. Everybody was helping logos and and face painting and everyone was in you know hold together and that you can sense it's a community. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mitch says you're gonna make me cry. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna call you oh. and I'm gonna make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Um, and a you lot of comments tell. of needing a yeah. great administration team and you know, a lot of... If anyone wants to be part of my administration team, I'm for it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. She's she's looking for somebody who's it's really... It's not easy, to... guys. It's no, it easy. isn't. If you're going to commit to something like that, you really better be commit. able to... Yeah, really commit. Because yeah. it is a lot of work and... It is. And I have done it myself alone. Uh... I'm just saying. So if I have done mistakes... It's just me. <laughs> I'm not going to say, oh, she did it, you know? Yep, yep. All right, well, I think we're pretty much out of time. So mm -hmm. as much as I would love to keep going, this was been this has been so much fun. We um, could do a second part tutorial about this after the <laughs> false. We could do after the third one. That would be fun. There you go. There you go. That would be fun. We can post you a ask. video and... You see, yep. asking. <laughs> That's right. If you want, if you want to make things happen, you gotta get out there and make it happen. So. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much, Barry, for coming on. And thank you so much. Us. 
Um, and thank you guys that came and watched and listened. You guys are a great group. You guys have been so much fun today. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go join a collaboration, make a collaboration. Absolutely. Yeah. Help your collaborations that you're already a part of. See what you can do to help. And uh, I seriously want to yeah. see a grass collaboration. Does anybody that one? That will be I my will be collaboration. I'll, I'll start one. I'll start one. We'll do grass. <laughs> Seriously. And I want to throw Baladeski on it. He's amazing. He will do different kind of grasses. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Thank you so much, Amelia, for You're having welcome. me. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Everybody have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.